three. Unlike the previous system that could only monitor transportation, the Enterprise Resource Planning System that was launched today will enable health personnel from different parts of the country to order for drugs online. It will also enable NMS to track the drugs right from the manufacturers to the final recipients. Once this system is up and running, we will not need to expect an order to come by hard copy from any of our facilities. The in-charges will, in the comfort of their offices, be able to send the order to national medical stores and will receive it. Anyone who wants to know, anyone who wants to get accurate information, this information will be available to any Ugandan, anywhere, starting from the top to the bottom, even the leadership, even to the district leadership. Everyone who wants to get this information, together with even media. According to the U.S. Ambassador Deborah Malak, the $10 million system will help address some of the challenges in Uganda's health sector, including drug theft. Help that we can start to build a system um, that will address some of those challenges and make it even fun and function even better. And hopefully we can, we can eliminate many of those issues related to, to empty boxes. Malak urged the government to continue investing in quality health care as she reiterated the U.S. government's continued support to Uganda's development programs. The U.S. government will continue to be a partner through this process to, con to provide technical assistance to help the government and help NMS implement this process with, as I said earlier, a very clear plan of handing this all over to you when we're done. Minister of Health Jane Ruther Cheng has said the new monitoring system is part of NMS expansion program. So this system is coming in at the right time when National Medical Stores is also expanding. It is coming in to handle a bigger National Medical Stores, especially when we eventually open the Kajansi major branch. According to the minister, the national medical stores had on several occasions been unfairly accused of illegally selling drugs, but they couldn't defend themselves because they lacked an effective tracking mechanism like the one that has just been launched. The number of rumors that were in the newspapers, the famous one is the one of Uganda Cancer Institute claiming that NMS was selling drugs at over, I think, 500% profit. And yet the system could not hold. The system could not report correctly. The system was adding its zeros. That was not a fault of national medical stores. We tried so much to explain. But believe you me, Your Excellency, when you can't explain with written evidence, it can't work. Nobody believes you. On the recent arrests of journalists who are carrying out an investigation into the sale of government drugs, Acheng said the Ministry of Health was fully supportive of any attempts to expose those engaged in such illegal activities. The minister also allayed any fears that the system would be rendered ineffective due to the limited supply of electricity and internet connectivity in some rural parts of Uganda saying that the government had taken steps to mitigate against these situations. <laughs>